So I, we should I all honestly, I honestly, no bullshit. I promise you, on my child's life, and I honestly fucking believe with my heart, I put my child's life on it. Very vocal contingency of the internet sure. is going to say I'm lying or something like that. My I'm, tone that I'm bet- baiting and switching yeah. or something like that. I can kind of get when people are like, "Oh, I wanted like more He-Man in this show and whatnot." Yeah. So there was very little creativity involved. There rarely is when it's just another franchise sacrificed on the altar of agenda. Nerderotic.com. Not going to pretend I'm a He-Man or a Masters of the Universe fan. If I did, well, then I would be lying, right, Kevin Smith? But I did watch my very first episodes of He-Man in preparation for Friday Night Tights, just for reference, and I can certainly understand why He-Man fans are mad. The one thing I noticed was... There wasn't any He-Man in the He-Man show, but I'm not here to talk about the ins and outs of the show on Netflix, the same streaming service that brought us cuties. I am here to talk about the bigger picture, the bigger problem, fan blaming and lying to the audience. Now, when you have to bait and switch your audience, that's a manipulation. That is a lie. When you have to push disingenuous arguments, That is dishonest, meaning it's a lie. When you are so detached from the general populace that you don't even know when you're lying, well, you're lost at this point. Funny enough, Hollywood has turned fan blaming into an art form. They have managed to, for example, blame the fans for being upset when He-Man isn't in the He-Man show or blaming the fans for being upset when Luke drinks titty milk or blaming the fans for being upset when they see the doctor turn into the first female doctor played by Jodie Whittaker, who we will lovingly call Dr. Karen and completely destroying the entire canon of the show. What makes this particularly disappointing is it comes from Kevin Smith, who certainly has been a shill for the last 10 years, but it's one thing to be a known shill and it's another thing to blame the fans, especially when you were the once nerd of the people or dare i say king of the nerds and you sat on your throne with some dignity for a little while but now you're just another tool another cog in the machine another hollywood douche the thing that everyone's crying about the most or we're like where the fuck is like i it it, this has been the only thing that's frustrating to me again i don't mind if people like you fucking suck and it sucks like i'm used to that but in some ways it just feels like some of these people have never seen a TV program or a movie yes ever well that is a great sales pitch isn't it kevin imagine you're actually working in your comic store which i don't think you really do and somebody lays down amazing spider-man one more day and says this is the worst thing i've ever read which i would agree with and you respond with i don't think you've ever read a comic book before in your life how does that sound patronizing douchey if you answered either of those, you would be correct. To come to your defense, the, the thing that frustrates me so much about this, like, lie thing. Lie thing. You mean when he lied? That lying thing? Right. Yeah. Is that people are coming up, knocking on your door and saying, like, is it true that this happens in episode four? In nine months before the show comes out. Mm-hmm. Well, how are you supposed to answer that question? You don't respond. You have control over your social media timelines. Kevin Smith, with his 3.1 million followers on Twitter, went out of his way to engage and drag Clownfish TV. And if you want one single way to galvanize all YouTubers, it's some Hollywood douchebag dragging us through the mud. So, Kevin, these are fans, and you should be grateful that they care this much, and you of all people are supposed to understand that but you're a long way from being fat kevin smith i think everyone's covered the lying thing pretty well so we'll just briefly recap it here and get to the fan blaming part so about a year ago clownfish tv put up a rumor they didn't even make a video about it that he-man wasn't going to be in the he-man show it was going to turn into the tila show and based on what i saw that's exactly what happened now clownfish did not at them kevin smith decided to engage with them and basically call them liars and drag their name through the mud and to this very day kevin smith doesn't think he lied although he did All he had to do was say, yes, I lied. I didn't want the show to be spoiled. Instead, he argues semantics. So in order to make an interesting story, the first thing you do is take the most powerful man in the universe and try to keep the sword away from him. How we do it in episode one is he gives his life. He sacrifices his life. Now, uh, you know, I've been accused of lying for saying that uh, that I'm like, he man does no stepping aside. I 
if he if if he man giving his life for the entire universe is stepping aside then tony stark stepped aside jesus christ stepped aside like it's a messianic moment. All right, calm down there, bucko, with the messianic moment. With all due respect to the He-Man fans, it's just a He-Man show. Again, we're just arguing semantics. It doesn't matter if He-Man stepped aside or he died. He-Man wasn't in the He-Man show. You and Netflix sold the public a He-Man show, and what they got was a Tila show, an annoying character with a female head on a man's body. Here's a tweet from about an hour before the show. Do you see any pictures of Tila here? No, you don't. It was a bait and switch. Quick side note here. I thought they were desexualizing women in Hollywood because, say, for example, the Scar Joe body type was unattainable. You know what's unattainable? The Arnold Schwarzenegger body type for a woman. Um, which like, again, I understand, like I'm a fan of things. I, I don't get that vocal if somebody does a thing that I don't care. Except of course, when you tweet at clownfish TV, basically call them liars and drag their name through the mud. But as a fan of things, I understand what people are like. It's not what I fucking wanted it to be. Yeah, you're right. They have no right to be pissed off. I don't know how they would get the impression that he man would be in the he man show. It so irritates me that this is going on, that there is a contingency of people. And, and mind you, like we're talking about it like it's everything and stuff. It's it's a very vocal contingency. Oh, uh, here comes the fan blaming. It's just a small vocal contingency. I have never heard that before. I didn't hear it with Star Wars. I didn't hear it with Doctor Who. I didn't hear it with Star Trek. I didn't hear it with the MCU recently. I didn't hear it with Game of Thrones. See, yeah. that I pointed out, like, uh, at one point I talked to my Netflix friends, and I was like, I mean, did you see this? Like, are we in trouble? And they were very kind, and this is not meant to mock anybody, but they were like, Kevin, do you think we decide to uh, pick up other seasons of shows based on the audience rating at Rotten Tomatoes? And I was like, you don't? And they're like, no. Oh, uh, yeah, we kind of figured that, Kevin, since we still get so much garbage. It doesn't mean it's not garbage take a look again at doctor who the audience rating has been in the toilet it actually hit zero at one point they're still making it despite the cratering ratings and it doesn't mean it isn't destroying the one thing the fans loved they aren't going out there because they hate it they're going out there because they care again this is something you're supposed to understand here I, i'm like i don't this ain't me being smarmy i know someone's gonna paint it otherwise like that this is just me being honest. If you don't like something, kids, don't fucking talk about it. I think this brings up a good point, the Streisand effect. Well, that works both ways. Why didn't you practice that philosophy with, say, I don't know, Clownfish TV? I do think this is a pretty good opportunity to reset why I'm here, why I think a lot of channels are here. For one, fans don't have very many places to go to voice their opinions. Of course, creatives and adult pretenders and people who help adults pretend in Hollywood want us all to shut up. They don't want to hear any criticism. So the review bombing thing popped up again, and this is another way to minimize the fans' voices. Um, that review bombing thing, like, I, it was so weird because I'd, I'd been a witness to it from the outside in other occasions. I remember when that happened to the boys, and I was like, how strange. And when it happened to Captain Marvel, you know, never did I thought I'd, we'd be at the epicenter of it, but there we were and stuff. And so naturally, I was like, oh, my God, what does this mean? I'm like, or, is it going to bum anybody out or are we going to be in trouble? And um, the folks upstairs, like, put it on Front Street. And, and this is not me being a dick, man. This is just me kind of explaining, like, how counterproductive it is to go all in against something you hate. Just a reminder, you made the fans angry because you destroyed something they loved. So it's not just hating a project. Um, their reaction was like, Kevin, this is amazing for the show. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but all these people are mad. They were like, yes, it looks like about five to 10,000 people have written nasty things. And they were like, but we have 210 million subscribers. And I was like, oh, so mathematically we're safe. They're like safe as kittens. So, <laughs> so like it's, you can do it. And I'm not, I ain't trying to stifle anybody's freedom of speech. Absolutely. Go ahead and stuff. But it's, it's, it won't do what you think it's going to do. Yeah. Then why did you spend 25 minutes 
talking about it. Why did you turn off the comments within the first two minutes of this live stream? Why did Solo lose money? Why did Disney cancel all of its Star Wars stories? Why did the fall of Skywalker turn into a giant piece of crap? Why did Captain Marvel 2 get renamed to the Marvels? Why did the five Game of Thrones prequels get canceled? Because fans spoke up. Silence doesn't solve a damn thing. I, I too, like them, was like, oh my God, this is a bad thing. And then they were intending to do a bad thing. And, and I'm not saying it's a nefarious plot or, or bots and shit, but all the people, like, it's a little suspect that are, you know, we're, what is it called? And certified fresh. Yeah. And then our audience rating is like in the toilet. I'm not saying it was bots, but it was probably bots. Listen, what's more suspect? The TV or film critic that gets paid to review television or films and can gain access if they review a film or television show positively. You know, everybody's a shill. Everybody's getting that Disney cash. But here, all right. So here's the here's the actual reality. I was going right? to say, like, have you been here's, on mentions lately? Here's, <laughs> here's where we actually are in the industry. If you want to talk about quote access media. Every single person that wants to have access to things early, that wants to get access to things so that traffic is drawn to their site, will on occasion, everybody at this podcast, everybody in our industry occasionally has to play softball, occasionally has to, you know, look the other way a little bit. Everybody has to do it. Wait, wait, we're turning what? Like a movie in, in, that's in, bad, in the sense or? that, you know, I hated a movie, but I won't say that I hated the movie. Or a fan who was genuinely angry because another Hollywood douchebag destroyed something he loved. And it's not just this show, Kevin. It's everything. It's the big picture. In isolation, if it was just He-Man and none of this stuff had been going on before, nobody would be saying much of anything. It wouldn't be this big of a deal. But this comes right on the heels of Loki, where the same damn thing happened. The same thing is going to happen in Hawkeye. The same thing is going to happen in The Witcher Season 2. Some might argue that it already happened in The Witcher Season 1, and I would listen to those arguments. Same thing happened with Disney Star Wars. The same thing is going to happen with Indiana Jones. It's happened time and time again right but i and then so just so everyone doesn't say like he thinks it's a conspiracy i'm not saying that that's what i read i don't know what to think at this point like that but i do know this much based on what i was told by the people that like pay my salary that doesn't matter to them like they they literally don't cares well that's not surprising but it is interesting to hear somebody say it out loud netflix doesn't care Kevin Smith doesn't care. They have your money, you little pleb. So shut the hell up and consume. Now, this debate has sparked a lot of conversations, a lot of very legit conversations. And yes, we here on YouTube, at least I'll speak for myself, need to choose our battles. We can't get outraged by everything or it just becomes white noise. But I think this is a great example of what has been going on in Hollywood, the character assassination, and specifically the character assassination of traditional heroes. So Kevin Smith stepped in it. He did his best Neil Druckmann, Rianne Johnson impression, and of course, as with all of Hollywood, he is blaming the fans for all of his and Netflix's bad decision, but they don't care. Well, why don't you keep telling them how much you do? If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, I thank you for listening this long. I will see you in the next video. All of us make mistakes, and Una and Aaron made a big one. But when they realized what they had done, they didn't lie about it. They didn't try to cover it up. Instead, they admitted it. As He-Man said... Admitting you're wrong takes courage, but when you do, you've taken the first big step toward making up for it. Of course, if you're like me, you never make a mistake. Or a co. Well, I guess I better disappear. <laughs> uh, oops, I think I made a mistake. Nerdorotics.com, please subscribe. You lying piece of sack of shit, slut trash can, scum is dirtbag.